I'm Emily Morgan. And I'm Karen Ansberry. We're the authors of the Picture Perfect Science series published by the National Science Teachers Association. Our award-winning books are collections of elementary science lessons. Karen and I are both elementary teachers, so we know how hard it can be to fit all the subjects in, especially science. So we came up with a way to combine science and reading through the use of picture books. And there are some really great science picture books out there that can help you teach elementary science. We like to use both fiction and nonfiction together. The fiction books can get students interested in a topic, engage their emotions, make them laugh, help you find out what they already know about a topic, or maybe just make the subject more approachable. Nonfiction books are where the explanations come in. Over the years, we've collected some really great nonfiction picture books that do an excellent job of explaining science concepts in a context that kids can relate to. To sequence our lessons, we use the 5E model engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. reading comprehension strategies when we read the picture books aloud. You're probably familiar with some of these simple but effective strategies. Things like making connections, questioning, inferring, visualizing, determining importance, and synthesizing. We've also included some great graphic organizers to help students learn and retain both science vocabulary and science concepts. of our lessons is scientific inquiry. When we write a lesson, we start with the science concept and everything else, the reading strategies, the picture books, the hands-on activities, they all come together to support student learning of that science concept. you'll find these lessons fun, engaging, and easy to teach. We put everything you need right there in each lesson. The background information, the standards that are addressed, a list of all the materials you'll need. There's handouts, evaluations, a list of more books to read, suggestions for further inquiry, and websites. It's all there. We hope you'll enjoy learning more about Picture Perfect Science. And we hope you'll feel ready to try some of these lessons in your classroom right away. Mm -hmm. 